activity right here in East Texas. A recent report by the Texas Department of Public Safety highlights this problem. KTK's Mai Owens right now live at the Woodlands Shopping Center in Tyler. And Mai, you spent this entire day digging into DPS research, right? Neil, yes, I did. And after reading this document, it's likely gang activity sparked the violence, even though law enforcement only plan on charging one man with the shooting spree, including the latest one that happened here right outside Taco Bell. Police have arrested Christian Perdomo in connection with the recent homicides and a fifth shooting in which the victim survived. The violence happening over nine days between December 7th and 16th. The warrant for Perdomo arrest reveals he was a member of a criminal street gang known as the Bloods. But this isn't the first time gang activity has been connected to crimes like these. One of the highest profile cases happened five years ago when Brianna Young was murdered in P.T. Cole Park, a shooting connected to gangs who are often associated with other offenses. Things we've seen in the past have to deal with, with assaults and, and drug activities and burglaries and theft. Those are the things that are the, the most common that we see. And those are all things Perdomo has been arrested for over the past eight years. The most recent crimes have East Texas residents voicing their fears on social media, commenting about the cartel and gangs on Facebook. It's estimated that uh, our active gang relations around three or four gangs. The new DPS report identifies six different gangs in the north region of the state, which includes East Texas, including the one Perdomo is a member of. Despite the report last year, Longview police told local media there were 20 known gangs within the area. Our gangs are, are loosely affiliated inside the city and uh, most of them are, are neighborhood oriented. And gang members would agree. But like my cousin, they were heroes because they were taking care of their family. They were doing the wrong thing, but they had love everywhere. And I wanted that same thing. I wanted that same thing. Malik Bridges is serving a 20 year sentence for aggravated robbery, a crime he believes would never have happened if he had stayed in school and out of gangs. My Owens, KETK News. Now, the document goes into detail about different gangs in the area, and you can check out this full entire document on our website, EastTexasMatters.com. Live in Tyler, Mai Owens, KETK News.